Hello, Shumai Kaisa. Welcome to lesson three of module one. In this lesson, you learn how to ask people where they are from, as well as answer that question for yourself. You'll also learn how to ask someone where they live and answer that same question for yourself. So, without further ado, bantar kart, literally off with a cart, or off we go. So, to ask someone where they are from originally, you would say, O ble dachin dod an wreithiol. This is the most polite way of asking someone. And the informal way would be, O ble oitin dod an wreithiol. I'll say those again. O ble dachin dod an wreithiol. And the informal way, O ble oitin dod an wreithiol. You can actually drop the last part and wreithiol if you like. The meaning is still the same. An wreithiol just means originally. So dropping that would just change the question to where are you from instead of where are you from originally. And your answer would be doin dod o and where you're from. So if I'm from Liverpool, for example, I would say doin dod o lerpol. Many English places have a Welsh translation. Lerpol is Liverpool in Welsh. I'll teach you a few of these in this lesson and I'll be introducing you to more names as we work through the different lessons. Don't worry too much about trying to learn these all at once. The main thing is that you know how to say where you are from. Now one very important thing I have to talk to you about is mutations. Welsh as with all other Celtic languages, often sees changes made to the beginning of words depending on the word that precedes it. These changes are known as mutations and Welsh has three types, the soft, the nasal and the aspirate. I don't want to get into too much depth at present um, because I'll tell you when a mutation is necessary, so, so don't think too much about it for the time being. So let's look at now how to say where you are from. If I want to say I am from in Welsh, I say Duin Dod O. Duin Dod O. Now it gets a little bit complicated. The preposition O, okay, or O means from in Welsh and triggers a soft mutation. Now what does this mean? Well, Look at the soft mutation chart here in the middle. This would mean that after O, meaning from, all words starting with the letter C would change to G. All words starting with the letter P would change to B. Other letters that are not in the chart would not be affected at all. And remember, this happens only after I use the preposition O. There are other occasions when you have to use the soft mutation, but I'm only giving you O today. So let's look at the place names on the left. I'll go through them. Abertawe is one in Welsh. Cardiff is how you say Cardiff in Welsh. Australia. Penarth. Cair is Chester. Llandeilo and Briste. If I want to say I'm from Swansea in Welsh, I would say Duin Dod o Abertawe. Abertawe is the Welsh for Swansea and Abertawe starts with the letter A and A is not in the list of letters that mutate, so it doesn't change. Now let's look at the Welsh for Cardiff, which is Caerdydd. How would you say, I am from Cardiff in Welsh? Well, the first question you ask yourself is, what letter does Caerdydd start with? So yes, it starts with a C. Is C in the chart? Yes, it is, right up the top. So C would change to G after O. So to say, I am from Cardiff in Welsh, you would say, Duin dod o gairdydd. Let's look at the next one, Australia. Australia starts with the letter A, A. It's not on the list of letters that mutate, so it would stay the same. Duin dod o Australia. Let's look at number four, Penarth. Penarth starts with the letter P, and the letter P changes to B. So to say, I'm from Penarth, in Welsh, you'd have to say Duin Dodo Benarth. Look next at number five, Cair or Chester. Is C on the list of letters that mutate? Yes, it is. 
And as we've seen before, it changes to G. So I'm from Chester would be Dwin, Dod or Gair. Now let's look at number six, Llandeilo. Now we're not looking for the letter L on the list as double L is a letter in itself in Welsh. We're looking for double L and yes, it's there. What does double L change to? It changes to L. So I'm from Llandeilo in Welsh would be Dwin, Dod or Llandeilo. And lastly, Bristol. The Welsh for Bristol is Briste. Is B on the list? Yes. And it changes to F. So I'm from Bristol would be Dwin, Dod or Vriste. And well done. Da iawn. We got there. Now, I'm not asking you to memorise this table. I just want you to be aware of these peculiarities of the Welsh language. The main thing at this stage is that you know how to say where you are from and that there are mutations in Welsh that we need to be aware of. You may well want to have a little break now before we move on to the next section. So to ask someone where they live in Welsh, you'd say ble de chi'n byw. Ble de chi'n byw. This, of course, is the formal way. And the informal way would be ble oi ti'n byw. Ble oi ti'n byw. So let's try those again. Ble de chi'n byw. And ble oi ti'n byw. And your answer would be dwi'n, byw, yn. And guess what? Yn, which means in, triggers a nasal mutation, not a soft mutation this time. Let's have a look at what happens. So what do I mean when I say triggers a nasal mutation? Well, if you live in a place that starts with any of the letters in the left-hand side of the grid on top, that place name will need to mutate. In addition to this, if a place name begins with C, you'll also need to add the letter G to the end of N. Let's see this working in practice. Number one, the Welsh name for Cardiff is Caerdydd. It begins with C. So that means it will mutate after N. Cardiff will change to Ngheirdydd. But I also need to remember that as a C word, caerdydd, we also have to add G to the preceding un to make ung, ung ngheirdydd. So I live in Cardiff would be dwi'n byw ung ngheirdydd. Try number two. Australia begins with A, Australia. It's not in the list, so we don't have to worry about it. We can just say, dwi'n byw yn Australia. Same for number three, Scotland or yr Alban in Welsh. Um, you would just say, dwi'n byw yn yr Alban. Let's look at number four. Caer is the Welsh name for Chester. It starts with a C. So it'll work in exactly the same way as Caerdydd or Cardiff. Caer will change to Ngheir and you add a G to the preceding un to make dwi'n byw yng hair. In number five, Llandeilo doesn't change. But in number six, Cas Newydd, which is Welsh for Newport, does. The same as Cair and Cardiff. Dwi'n byw yng has newydd. Now try saying that you live in these places in Welsh one by one. You may want to pause the video here to give you thinking time and play when you're ready to answer. If you're unsure how to mutate the place you live properly, just get in touch with me and I'm happy to help. So I live in Llangevni would be Dwi'n Byw and Llangevni. I live in Carnarvon would be Dwi'n byw yng Nghaernarfon. I live in Aberystwyth would be Dwi'n byw yng Aberystwyth. I live in Camarthen would be Dwi'n byw yng Nghaernarfon. I live in Swansea would be Dwi'n byw yng Abertawe. I live in Cardiff would be Dwi'n byw yng Nghaernarfon. 
I live in Brecca would be Dwi'n Byw yn Aberhonddi. I live in Newtown would be Dwi'n Byw yn y Dre Newydd. But just remember, you're unlikely to be misunderstood if you don't mutate, but your Welsh won't be grammatically correct. You're not expected to get everything right now at the beginning, and Welsh people won't think any less of you. In fact, many Welsh speakers get their mutations wrong or muddled up. Just a few more rules to be aware of. So, as well as the changes to the beginning of the place name, we also have to be aware of the changes to an. So, I just want to bring your attention to these points. If the place name starts with P or B, the preceding an changes to um, not an bangor, but um mangor. Notice how much easier it is to say um mangor than un bangor. If the place name starts with C or G, you add a G to the preceding un to make ang. We've already seen the changes to place names starting with C, like Cardiv, but not to G, not to places starting with G, like Gorseinon. So you wouldn't say un Gorseinon, but un Gorseinon, un Gorseinon. Again, notice how much easier it is to say un Gorseinon than un Gorseinon. Just to summarise this section then on Dwi'n Byw An. So, few key points to take away. English place names stay the same unless there is a Welsh translation. People will still understand you if you don't mutate. There are extra changes to an, meaning in, for place names that start with C, P, G and B. Learn how to say where you live first. And if in doubt, just ask. Send me an email. If you want to completely avoid using the nasal mutation when saying where you live, one way of doing it is by saying I live near, as opposed to I live in. Welsh for near is arbois. So let's see how this works. Let's take Carnarvon, for example. I live in Carnarvon is Dwi'n byw yng Carnarvon. Dwi'n byw yng Carnarvon. Now, if I want to say I live near Carnarvon, I would just say Dwi'n byw ar bwys Carnarvon. Easy. Same for Carnarvon, which is Carverthin in Welsh. I live in Carnarvon is Dwi'n byw yng Carverthin. But I live near Carnarvon is Dwi'n byw ar bwys Carverthin. No mutation. And that's it for lesson three. That was a difficult lesson. Remember, I'm not expecting you to learn all the mutations by heart right now. Just be aware of them. My aim is not to scare you away, but to teach you an accurate form of Welsh. So I need to make you aware of what is considered to be standard correct Welsh. Don't rush on to the next lesson unless you are able to see how mutations work in Welsh and that you are able to correctly ask and answer questions about where you live and where you're from. Da iawn chi. Hwyl fawr.